Hello, hello guys. Today I have a really exciting unboxing for you guys. It's not a true unboxing because I've already been using this bag because I needed to make sure that I love this bag because I bought this for my 30th birthday present. So I kind of wanted to unbox it, unbox it with you guys today and show you what it looks like and my initial thoughts and reactions and get your guys' opinion on it. Let's unbox this baby together. So I bought this like a couple weeks ago from the Madison Avenue flagship store in New York City. And it's actually really interesting how I found this bag. So let me just unbox it first and then I'll tell you guys the backstory because I know this is the part you guys actually want to see. So it comes in the beautiful Chanel packaging as usual. Any guesses as to what it is? It's obviously not a classic bag because it comes with the black dust bag and obviously it comes with all the little Chanel pamphlets and camellias and things of that nature. But this bag I'm so excited about because it's in the color that I've been dying to own. So I've been trying to buy a red bag because I feel like I want a pop like a statement colored bag that can work for all different seasons and i feel like red is the it color of this season but honestly i've loved red for the longest time let me just pull this out so you guys can stop wondering what it is but look at this beautiful bag so this bag is a chanel hobo bag in the medium size as you can see the leather is super shiny it is smooth calfskin leather and it's just so pillowy and so soft and cushiony i love it and it's super flat as you can see there's this like really thick chain that goes around it but it's not too heavy and it's surprising because it actually fits quite a lot of stuff in it this is what the interior looks like um, as you can see, it's just literally a pouch and there is a few compartments there for cards and also things of that nature, anything flat. And this is the 23B collection um, and this is the medium size. They actually have a larger size of this, which is a crossbody. So it has not only the shoulder strap, but it also has like a crossbody chain. And then they have a smaller size of this that's more of like a clutch slash one that you wear kind of on the crook of your arm like so. This one is a perfect shoulder bag. As you can see, it looks super good on the shoulder. It like fits my frame so, so well and I love it. I tried on a bunch of other red bags that they had in store, but this one ended up being my favorite and I was surprised that this one actually fit the most. I'll show you guys like what fits in my bag at the end of this video. Um, but to get to the backstory of how I got to this bag. So interestingly enough, this is not a bag that's in season, of course, but I was so determined to get a red bag because I'm going to Greece at the end of May, which is when my birthday is. And I wanted a red bag as like a pop of color to like match with my shoes and stuff like that. Cause I feel like a white dress, black dress with a pop of red, just like this outfit right now is like perfect. Um, and so I was searching for the perfect type of red, which I like the ones that are cherry red with like a hint of blue tone to it, which I love that this one is. I don't like it when it's too orange toned. And I also wanted one that was classic yet kind of like chic and young. And so initially I wanted the Chanel wallet on chain. Um, but the thing is though, I want it to be very particular. Like I like the size of this CC logo. There are Chanel wallet on chains with like bigger CC logos and the original really small one. None of which would have looked so, so good as like a shoulder bag. Cause like one of the things that I love about the wallet on chain is how versatile it is. You can make it into a shoulder bag. You can wear it as a crossbody. You can make it into a clutch, things like that. But I am a really big fan of shoulder bags recently. And so that's how I wanted to wear the wallet on chain. Um, the sales associate that I worked with, she actually did have like a clutch. It kind of was more of like an evening clutch style. So it was a little bit longer than a wall on chain, but the strap was like all metal and super dainty and pretty. It had like the camellia flower um, as one of like the charms on it, but it just wasn't exactly what I was looking for. And then they also had another one that was similar to this, but it had more of like a thickness on the side, but I didn't like the quality of the leather. When she pulled out this one, ugh, 
I fell in love. Like, I love just how shiny and how soft and pillowy this is. Like, I wish you guys could feel it with me. And the way I discovered this bag is actually quite interesting. So, I had gone into the store, the Soho store in New York, a couple months ago, and I was looking for a red bag, but they didn't have any in stock. This was like probably at like the beginning of 2024. I went, they didn't have any red ones. So, I kind of was just like keeping my eyes out. I wasn't like hardcore looking because I wanted to buy this while I was in Europe for the tax savings but then i saw this girl's tiktok and she was holding this exact bag the dallas store for chanel had just opened and they were like showcasing all the inventory that they had in there and this girl pulled up this bag and i like messaged her being like oh like how many of this did they have left i was like willing to source this bag and um she said they had a few left there but I took a screenshot of her video and I sent it to the sales associate that I befriended while I was in Soho a couple months ago. And he was kind enough to go searching for this for me and he found two in stock at the Madison Avenue store. So I rushed over, you best believe. I got my butt there so quickly. Um, and she's mine. I'm so happy I got her. This is honestly like one of the best purchases I think I've made. Um, I just think the quality is so nice. And let me show you guys everything that fits into this bag because it's quite a lot so i'm gonna pack this bag just like i normally would for a dinner i actually just came from a dinner tonight so i'll repack this bag and show you guys what i carry so the first thing and if you've watched some of my other like what's in my bag videos or my other like bag unboxings i've had this for a long time this is my key holder and it's super thick as you can tell there's like six or six or seven different key ring holder areas i think it's six and so I can fit this baby directly in like so. The next thing is super flat. This is my Tatcha oil blotting sheets. I just put this in here. And oh, I forgot to say that I've already put my credit cards and my ID into like the little slots in the back here. Um, and then the next item I usually carry with me are these like bag rings. And these are really cool because they actually are to help maintain like the clean cleanliness of your bag. You just like, Put it on here like this and then you put it onto a table like so and then it just hangs i actually got this idea from a restaurant that had one of these and then i went on amazon and i just bought it myself and then of course i have a like re-wetting drop for my contacts if you're a contact wearer you know how important that is and then i have one of these like suction cup thing so i know the octo buddy is super famous but this one is by the brand joy room and it just like magnetically sticks on to the back of your phone like so and i like it because it has this hook so it's easy to put your hand in but also you have the optionality of just simply taking it off which i think is really cool because the octo buddy one feels like it's stuck onto your phone and i don't love this feeling like when i'm like holding my phone i don't love feeling that so that's also going in here and honestly that's like everything that i carry usually in my purses there's actually still room for more stuff like a lip gloss or things like that like for example my laneige my um this is the peppermint lip glowy balm i can also stick this in here as well and it actually can probably fit airpods as well but the airpods probably would not fit like perfectly into the bag um it probably would stick out just a little bit but with all of that into my bag, you can see that my bag, like there's not really significant bulging from any which direction. It kind of just looks like a beautiful bag and like the sizing is not very concerning. I had a wallet on chain from when I first started my handbag collection. It was a Gucci wallet on chain and it was a true like envelope style. So it had many different folds and compartments in it, which sounds good in theory, but in reality, you can't fit like all of these odd shaped items into it that easily. But this one you can, and this is what it looks like on my shoulder with everything in it. It just like looks super chic and pretty and I just like really love this bag. This bag retails for $4,900 before taxes so it is quite pricey um, but I feel like this bag I'm definitely going to have for a really really long time if not forever because I feel like red is just a staple color and ever since I sold my red Gucci envelope bag I felt like my closet was missing like just a very nice standard pop of color bag and i think i finally found the one that i'm in love with so yeah 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions or comments please feel free to post them and I will respond back and thank you all for watching my video